Hi, my name is Philip King and welcome to this Artist Year 4 video lesson where I will be showing you how to design themes with custom background images. This video lesson is part of a series on understanding Artist Year 4 theme development. Further lessons can be found on my website kingsolutions.org.uk and there's no need to worry about the cost, it's all free of charge. First a quick word for those who don't know what Artist Year is. Artistia gives you the ability to produce your own professional customized theme template without the need to learn CSS, PHP, HTML, etc. It's a WYSIWYG design tool for creating content management system themes and templates for WordPress, Blogger, Drupal, Joomla and HTML. If you haven't downloaded Artistia yet, you will find a link to do so below this video. If you need help on downloading and installing Artistia, then take a look at my video Artistia Download and Install, the link for which is also given below this video. OK, let's begin. The background tab manages the design of the area outside the active content of the web page, the sheet. As you know, backgrounds are usually filled with colours and often decorated with effects and images. In Artistia, this is all controlled from the background toolbar, which consists of four groups, ideas, background, texture or image, and light effect. Each group has an additional dialog box for advanced customization. These options provide a great deal of flexibility in designing your background. To begin, let's presume we don't want to use a background image. What can be done with just plain color? Well, you can customize the background color that will show if a background image is not displayed. You can apply theme colors or custom colors or pick a color from any spot on the template and add it to your custom color palette using the color picker. Now that we have the base color, let's spruce it up a bit. Our color selection can now be enhanced with a gradient, texture or light effect. A gradient produces smooth color transitions. The gallery offers different gradients arranged according to the position, direction and character of the color transition. You can adjust the extent of the transition and the color contrast using the gradient options selection. If you just want to highlight the header, you can use the simple header selection. Personally, I prefer a nice even graduation. Let's look at the texture or image gallery next. The texture or image gallery offers different design patterns based on the style, material, theme and position of images and textures. Texture refers to a special graphic that represents a type of design. In the gallery there are many textures you can select that are colourless. A colourless texture inherits the colour of the background fill colour. As you can see, there's a wide selection to choose from. There are also several images and textures in colour. Some are designs and some are picture images. The colour weight and saturation for coloured images and textures may be modified in the page background options should you need to do so. You may have noticed that the background image fills the screen and in some instances even clashes so badly with the blog page that the data is completely washed out. This is because I set the sheet transparency to 100% transparent. If we change that to no transparency you will see what I mean as the background will no longer be visible in the content area of the page. But for the purposes of this tutorial we'll keep 100% transparency for now and also restore a simpler background. Let's see some background effects next. 
You would use these to enhance the page. We'll start with a horizontal top graphic. As with all these effects, you can modify the effect using the Options panel. In this instance, you can change the Blend Mode, the Transparency and the Contrast. You can also have a horizontal bottom graphic. A vertical left hand side graphic. Or a vertical right hand side graphic. You can also change the center background graphic. I'll select some balloons, which also come in colour. OK, let's change the balloons to a simpler background and try some more effects. Selecting the Effects button gives us even more methods for changing the colour and texture of the background image. I'll just keep it simple. OK, let's take a look at the Light Effect Gallery next. The Light Effect Gallery offers various glares you can use to enhance your design. This can be visualised better if you select no gradient or texture for the background. First let's take a quick look at the effects available. As you can see, you have a considerable number of effects at your disposal. Plus of course, you can also add your own designs. When you've made your selection, if it's not quite perfect, you can further customise the light effect in the Options panel. The scrolling option determines whether a background image is fixed or scrolls with the rest of the page. With this option set to scroll, when you resize or scroll the browser window, the sheet and the background texture appear to move together. With this option set to fixed, when you resize or scroll the browser window, the sheet appears to move over a fixed background. The Transparency option sets the glare transparency relative to the page background. The supported values are 0% to 100%, where 0% means without transparency and 100% means fully transparent. The Scale option increases or reduces the size of the graphic effect. A glare is a special type of texture pattern that emulates a lighting effect like the rays of the sun or light reflected from a surface. Scale simply reduces the size of the graphic relative to the page background. The Align option aligns the glare effect relative to the page margins. Available options are left, center and right. The Flip option creates a mirror reflection of the glare in vertical or horizontal directions. Well, that's all for this video. I hope you found it interesting. More videos and tutorials can be found on my website. And thank you for taking the time to view my video.
If you haven't downloaded Artistia yet, you will find a link to do so below this video. If you need help on downloading and installing Artistia, then take a look at my video Artistia Download and Install, the link for which is also given below this video. I'd like to thank you once again for taking the time to view my video. Bye for now.